What is a supply chain? A supply chain consists of all parties involved, either directly or indirectly, in fulfilling a customer request. The supply chain includes not only the manufacturers and suppliers, but also transporters, warehouses, retailers, and even customers themselves. Within each organization, such as a manufacturer, the supply chain includes all functions involved in receiving and filling a customer request. The customer is an integral part of a supply chain. The movement of products from suppliers to manufacturers to distributors, so the movement of information, funds, and products in both directions must be considered in a supply chain. It's more accurate to use the term supply network. Typical supply chain stages are customers, retailers, distributors, manufacturers, and suppliers. All stages may not be present in all supply chains. The customer comes to the supermarket to purchase detergent. The next stage of the supply chain is the actual retail store that the customer visits. The distributor, in turn, is stopped by the manufacturer. The P&G manufacturing plant receives raw material from a variety of suppliers who may themselves have been supplied by lower tier suppliers. Try to visualize information, funds, and product flows along both directions of this chain. Well, it's to maximize the overall value that's created. So your supply chain value can be defined as the difference between what the final product is worth to the customer. Value is correlated to supply chain profitability. The first phase is your supply chain strategy or design. The products that will be made, the transportation of the products, and information systems are also important. A supply chain is a sequence of processes and flows that take place within and between different stages. There are two ways to view this, the cycle view or the push-pull view. Here's a diagram of a cycle view of a supply chain. A diagram of the push-pull view of supply chains is shown here. And many companies um, combine some of both of these in order to get their product manufactured and shipped to the customer. Supply chain processes fall into one of two categories depending on the timing of their execution relative to customer demand. A pull push is speculative and based on a forecast. The boundary is where it's separated into each process.